not at my mom's house, so something's just like glaring in my eyes. I just looked at it now, I got spots. But uh, I got two cameras doing a time lapse of the sunset. It's like really good from over here. It's hard to see, but I got my phone right here doing a time lapse. And then I have my big camera out there doing a time lapse. So, bugs in my face. So, from where I found, this is probably the best place to do it. You can see my mom's RV back here in the back. No one's here, they all went out for pizza, but, so I'm just hanging out here, trying to do this time lapse, trying to, trying to see, but, I don't know, I got, I got one of them set for an hour. It's got, well, it's got 50 minutes left. It's doing like 900 photos or something like that. And my phone's just doing whatever it does. So I'm seeing which one has the better quality. With the big camera, I haven't really figured out what settings it's supposed to be on for the light change. But it's starting to go behind the sun. it's starting to go behind the trees now. But with the the way the sun works, they, it takes eight minutes to, for the light to go out. So once the sun goes below the horizon, we're still gonna have eight minutes of light that we'll be able to see until it gets actually dark. And that's I programmed both my time lapses to go. I think 15 minutes past dark. So uh, I'll get I'll get the light plus the ending light, the eight minutes of ending plus the just dark afterwards so trying to get the best settings on my big camera for the correct time lapse and then my phone we'll see what it does because it doesn't really have any settings other than just time lapse so we'll see which one looks better the sun's low enough now that i can kind of see it a little bit better um okay i keep having to go over and hit auto focus on everything um to make sure it's focusing correctly and doing everything the right way uh but little let me see if i can put this can i put this in here Kinda. All right, I gotta sit in the bed of the truck. All right, so um, I was supposed to be traveling the country, as you guys know, but there's flies everywhere, bugs and that. But and they're cutting down trees over there, putting in new uh, new lots, like 30 something new slots for RVs. Um, but you guys know I'm supposed to be traveling the country, which I'm trying to. I'm currently down in Texas, as you guys know. And I bought a spot over in, I don't know, half an hour away. Bought a spot for a month. Uh, a couple reasons. Uh, one, I just kind of, I'm really enjoying it here. And I haven't seen my mom in like a few years. So I kind of just sitting back, hanging out, relaxing, hanging out with her. Every year, I have actually the rest of my life to do whatever I want. Um, so I'm in no rush to go travel the country. Um, and then also, financially... I'm financially stable enough to do whatever I want. That's everywhere. But um, the way I want this to work out is that I want to travel off my rent that I'm receiving from my renters. So I want to, and that's it's only $800 a month, which isn't much. So uh, you know, it's, it cost me cost me about $400 to stay for a month. That's half of my rent that I'm receiving. That only leaves me four hundred dollars for gas, uh, and it costs me. That's about two tanks, roughly, uh, roughly about seven hundred miles, eight hundred miles, something like that, which is pretty far. But that's only for staying gas. Um, then you got food. Um, you got if you go out to eat. You have unexpected expenses. Like when I first got here to Texas, I'd replace two tires on my trailer cost me 200 bucks which if I only went off of that amount of money I wouldn't have enough money to keep going so you know you have random expenses so I'm staying here for a month probably longer um, because since I just moved or since I just started traveling I have all my bills at home all my final bills for my house so which was I had to I paid $200 for my tires I paid um, I don't know, probably three or four hundred in gas to get down here. I paid four hundred dollars for a stay for a month. I paid, um, I think, see, a hundred, about one hundred and fifty dollars for a stay on the way down here. Man, there's so many gnats all of a sudden. Um, so I spent over fifteen hundred dollars just getting down here, roughly, and then which is two months of rent. So I'm going to be staying here for probably a couple of months. Uh, there's a lot to see here too you know i got san antonio an hour away i got austin 45 minutes away um there's the alamo and then the, 
the boardwalk or whatever it is. Uh, so there's lots of stuff to see. So it's not like I'm just sitting around doing nothing. My mom's half an hour away. So I got, there's lots of stuff to do, lots of videos to do, lots of, there's lots of uh, parks and, or national parks around here. Uh, plus we're going to be going to the range quite a bit, the gun range. Um, so there's lots of stuff. So I'm probably going to be here in Texas for the next couple months. Um, it puts me way back on schedule on where I want to be going. Uh, but for, but financially, uh, it'd be better to run off of my rent to, um, instead of using my, instead of using my bank money, the money, I, there's so many nets, use, instead of using my money from my bank account or my spare bank account to travel, I'd rather use my rent. But if I'm doing that, I have to use the expense of staying here for a couple of months to build up a couple of months of rent left over because uh, for um, for what I'm getting paid in rent I can stay at my place for two months which that way I get $1,600 to go travel somewhere else which is more than enough especially if I'm just going to go to another state for a month like um, from where I'm at I think New Mexico is like six hours away so drive for six hours um, half tank gas full tank maybe a full tank plus stay there for a month and then get another eight hundred dollars. So, you know, I'm trying to. I, I got to get ahead of the game before I start going. And so right now I'm behind because I'm paying. I'm paying all my bills that I left with. Um, but those are getting paid tomorrow. So I don't owe anything. I won't owe any bills on anything until December. All of my property tax on all my vehicles, my house, and everything. So I won't have any any real bills until then. Um, so. I can finally start collecting and get ahead of the game on that. And then hopefully I'm thinking, what I'm really thinking about doing, whew, there's so many nets. What I'm, what I'm thinking about doing is using some of the money, well, pretty much the rest of the money I have in my bank account to put a down payment on another house and just rent it out immediately um, as is. So, and then, but then I'd have another mortgage to pay. So that's a decision I gotta figure out if I wanna make that or not. But it looks like we're almost, oh, we're almost done. You can see the sun's going down. So that camera's still going. This one's still going as well. So it looks like we got about 38 minutes left. But you can see the sun's below the tree line. So, but it won't it won't be well, won't be below the horizon for about another 20 minutes, 15 minutes or something. So then that's when we get the eight minutes of light left before it gets dark. So we got about 30 minutes before it actually is dark. Mm -hmm. 